In this video, I'll show you how to create this nice toggle button in Home Assistant. You can use it to turn things on and off. You will need to install Button Card from Hacks. Start by creating a new button card and add an entity to it. I just use a Boolean for this example, but you could use an automation or anything that could be turned on and off. Then add a name and an icon. I use this website to easily browse all the available icons in Home Assistant. Then I set Tap Action to Toggle, so the entity turns on and off when we click the button. Next, I would like to give some special styling to the button when the entity is off. I use the state function for this. I make the card black and the name and icon white. Next, I'll set up the overall styling and the two custom fields that we will use. The first custom field is the toggle icon. I first just set up a variable with the state of the entity so that we can return different icons based on the state. I first just add the icon, I will then create the ifelse function later. The code is just some basic HTML to display an icon. This is a pretty simple way to get a second icon into your cards. One important thing here is that we have to do the styling of the icon inside the HTML. The second custom field is similar to the first one. It just displays text instead of an icon. We could then enable styling for these two fields as well. I know it's a bit confusing with all these different places to do CSS styling. You just have to remember that when adding an icon as a custom field, we will have to do the size and color styling inside the HTML. But the position styling can be done in the CSS styling that is built into button card. Then, same as with the name and icon earlier, I make this state object white when the entity is off. All the different elements are placed on top of each other, so let's fix that by editing the grid. For this, I will set up two columns and three rows. First row is II for icon, second is NN for name, and the third row will be our custom field state and icon. Then I'm just sizing the two columns the same, while the second and third row is as small as possible. Then I'm just starting to style the default on state. I've done this many times on my channel, and most of the styling here is similar to that, so I won't waste your time explaining everything. Okay, that sorts out the card layout. But nothing except for the card background changes when we toggle the entity. So we need to set up an if-else function for our custom fields. It's pretty simple. After the variable in our code, we just type if, then add brackets and write state. State is the variable just above, then two equal signs, and on inside quotation mark. Then we can return the text on. Then on the next line, we just write else and return the text off. Then we do the exact same for the icon, we just edit the toggle switch icon for the on state. And you can see that all our elements changes when we toggle the button. Then I just want to change the color of the toggle icon to green when the entity is on. I use colorhunt.co like always. Last thing we could do, just to spoon feed that the entity really is off, is to toggle the main icon as well. And that's it. This card now joins the growing collection of dashboard cards I've created on this channel. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and grab the code on Gumroad if you want to help support me make more stuff like this. I have a lot more planned, it just takes time to create everything. Thanks for watching, until next time.